story takes place in 2020. Robot boxing matches were sweeping the world. While human boxing went unnoticed, Charlie used to be an exceptional boxer, however, with the changing times, he now also manipulates robots and bulls bulls for matches, manipulating the robot to perform several actions, annoyed the bull and unloaded a leg of the robot. Charlie wanted to call it off, but the bull didn't understand and continued to wreak havoc on the robot. <laughs> In the end, Charlie lost the match, and the robot was left in ruins. To make matters worse, Charlie was burdened with a massive gambling debt, leaving him in a miserable state. But that was just the beginning. The court tracked him down, revealing that Charlie had a son named Max with his ex-girlfriend. Shortly after Max was born, Charlie irresponsibly ran away. Now, his ex-girlfriend has passed away, making Charlie the sole guardian of Max. On the day of the court session, Max's aunt wanted to adopt Max, and her husband is well dressed with a gold watch. Charlie offered to transfer custody of his son for 100,000. Cousin Jean agreed, giving him a deposit of 50,000 and letting him take care of Max for two months. It was the first time Max saw his father, who used the money from selling his own son to buy a robot. They stood far apart from each other. Neither Charlie wanted this child, nor did Max want to acknowledge this man as his father. The robot Charlie bought is noisy and also competed for the world championship four years ago. Max is a fan of Noisy, and now money is no longer mentioned. He also owns half of the shares of this robot. Unexpectedly, Charlie immediately signed up for a boxing match, which was the most dangerous finale match. Max grabbed him, he should fight some mobs to develop slowly, but Charlie's confidence was overflowing, with a prize of 50,000 for winning. With that, he could pay off his previous debts. Although Noisy was powerful, Charlie didn't even finish watching its combination moves before entering the competition. As a result, in less than a minute, Noisy was severely beaten by the opponent. Charlie panicked, and only then did he come to see the combination moves. Noisy took a beating, and soon after, it was scrapped. Charlie panicked and hastily looked at the combination moves. Noisy took a beating and was subsequently rendered useless. The two of them started to argue, with Max feeling that Charlie was arrogant. No preparation at all before the game, Charlie blamed Noisy. That night, they arrived at a robot graveyard, hoping to find some useful parts. However, the lighting was too dim, and Max accidentally fell off a cliff. Luckily, a mechanical arm caught Max, saving his life. Charlie rescued him and comforted him somewhat clumsily. The relationship between the father and son eased slightly, but quickly soured again. Max discovered that it was a robot that saved him and wanted to take it back with him, but Charlie was unwilling to do so. Max's fleeting goodwill towards Charlie instantly shattered. The next morning, Max was alone, dragging the robot as if it were a giant piece of trash. He had spent the entire night digging by the edge of the cliff with Charlie not lifting a finger to help. Max punched and kicked him, he knew he was right and dared not fight back. Holding onto the last glimmer of hope, Charlie asked his girlfriend Bailey Talet to fix the robot. However, it turned out that the robot was only meant for boxing performances. It was impossible for it to participate in the competition. Charlie felt disheartened, as he had broken two robots within two days. Now he couldn't even participate in the competition, but Max believed that this robot was different. The robot is named Adam and has a very rare function. It could replicate and imitate human movements. Adam doesn't know how many years he has been sleeping, but when he was awakened again, it was as if he had come to life. The next day, Max asked Bailey Talet about Charlie's past. As they talked about the young Charlie, Bailey Talet's eyes sparkled. Young Charlie was a charismatic boxer. In the boxing ring, he either knocked out others or got knocked out himself. But he never gave up. And Bailey Talet spoke of him with joy. But when she saw the present Charlie, disappointment filled her eyes. He always talked about finding a way to make money and buying another robot to gamble at the casino. He had lost his unwavering belief and had become a gambler. After Max's repeated requests, Charlie agreed to take him to the competition. This time, Charlie learned his lesson and suggested having a warm-up match to earn some money. Meanwhile, Max was possessed by Charlie. As expected, Max was completely clueless at the beginning of the match. The opponent swung an iron hammer and relentlessly attacked Adam. After all, Max is a novice with little actual combat experience, and Adam was attacked one after another. He held on so hard that he didn't fall down. 
Charlie realized that Adam's greatest strength was his resilience. He anticipated the opponent's attacks in advance and guided Max with a few moves. At a critical moment, the duo cooperated and quickly turned the tide of the battle. In the second round, Max completely took control of the rhythm, punching the opponent's control center with both fists. The Iron Hammer lost control and even hit itself, resulting in Adam's victory. Charlie had been waiting for this victory for too long. He was on the verge of giving up when he saw a glimmer of hope once again. Persuaded by Max, Charlie began to teach Adam boxing. He abandoned the previous combination moves and focused solely on his own boxing techniques. Charlie hadn't boxed in a long time. But when he picked up his fists again, the feeling from his younger days came rushing back. That again. Since then, the two have moved to major boxing rings. Max gained countless fans with his dancing skills alongside the robot. Charlie, relying on his boxing techniques, led Adam to a series of victories. They started earning more and more money, and their relationship as father and son grew closer. Charlie would let Max count the money and would send some to Bailey Towlett. With the help of Adam the robot, this father and son duo began to gradually bond. It even feels like family. Soon, they were invited to compete in a professional match against the advanced robot twin stars. In the blink of an eye, several decades had passed, and they were back on the professional stage. Charlie is a little nervous. Becoming a boxing champion is his lifelong dream. But when someone offered 200,000 to buy Adam, his fragile confidence instantly crumbled. Max, just like Charlie in his younger days, never gave up and never retreated. But Charlie had become afraid of losing, afraid of being left with nothing once again. Twin stars had the best system, the most advanced control panel, and the most professional team. But in terms of momentum, they were completely overwhelmed by Adam. Max made a good start, and Charlie had no choice but to put on a brave face and join in. At the beginning of the game, Adam took a little advantage by virtue of his prediction of twin stars. However, the opponents quickly adapted to the rhythm and began to counterattack. The two heads of the Gemini star monitor every perspective without any blind spots. Adam's moves were intercepted in advance. Adam could only be forced into a corner, enduring all the attacks. Just then, Charlie suddenly noticed. The Gemini star makes a swinging motion before attacking. So Charlie took the opportunity to dodge the attack and then landed a series of punches on the Gemini star up close. The Gemini punch was interrupted while it was still gaining momentum, and Adam hit hard. The system of the Gemini star quickly crumbled under the assault. This little robot ultimately won the match with a powerful hook punch. Max rushed onto the stage, snatched the microphone, and declared his intention to challenge boxing champion Zeus. Charlie didn't take it seriously. How could the champion pay attention to a kid's provocation? But he was happy. They earned a lot of money. With that money, they could pay off their debts and start anew. He even thought about reclaiming custody of his son. But the debt collectors arrived first. Charlie was willing to pay them back double the money. However, they snatched his money and brutally beat him. The debt collectors also took Max's money. Charlie couldn't bear it any longer. He stood up and fiercely swung his fists, determined to help Max retrieve what was rightfully his. But there are many people on the other side, and they are beaten severely, so it is not so easy to start from scratch. The debts he owed in the past could always bring him back to square one. For the first time, Max acknowledged his father. Charlie also wanted to learn how to be a father, but they are running out of time and the time agreed with cousin Jean has come. He sent Max back, although Max wanted to stay with him. However, Charlie had already lost custody and was incapable of protecting Max. Max no longer paid attention to him and returned to the car to pack his belongings. He hoped for Max's forgiveness, but didn't know what to say. Charlie's mind now revolves around boxing. Decades ago, he lost in a fight against the boxing champion. Since then, he lost his fighting spirit and developed a fear of failure. But now, his fighting spirit has been reignited. He wants to fight, to give his son and the person he loves a secure future. So, he finds Max and says, I am ready to fight for you. Do you give me another chance? The boxing champion agrees to their match, and the father and son will face Zeus together. The mud legs climbing up in the ditch challenge Zeus, who was built with a lot of money, and may not be able to survive a round. Powerful is written into the bones of robots through money. It's a time of capital, where ordinary people find it difficult to prove their strength with just their fists. Zeus lives up to expectations, knocking Adam down with a single punch. Adam struggles to stand, but within 10 seconds, he is knocked down by Zeus again. He can't even fight back. Only enduring a constant barrage of blows, 
leaning in the corner, trying not to fall down. Trying to command his robot out of that suicide. Scott, as we reach the last 15 seconds of round one, Zeus corners at Just as Zeus is about to strike, the first round comes to an end. Adam's head is smoking, covered in bruises. In the second round, Adam begins to fight back getting knocked down again and again and getting up again and again. Whenever he has a chance, he retaliates with all his might. The head is deformed and the body is broken. Yet, he refuses to surrender until Zeus destroys the voice control system. Adam loses all control. Zeus hit Adam till it smoked. The system is about to crash. The bell finally rings. Adam barely makes it through another round, barely hanging on with the voice control system disabled. It's impossible to continue. Charlie advises Max to give up, but Max activates the mapping mode. Adam will mimic Charlie's movements. How you fight? Adam will fight. This is tantamount to Charlie fighting Zeus himself. And Charlie agrees. The match goes on to the final round, controlled by Charlie. Adam continues to endure the blows. One punch, two punches, three punches, and Adam keeps standing. Every part of his body is nearing its limit. But Charlie still holds on, and Adam still holds on. They wait. Wait for the champion's fists to tire. Wait for the rage within to reach its peak. This riddled with the nitrous-fueled Gatlin guns of Zeus's blows. Finally, Zeus's power begins to decline, his energy running low, and that's when Adam strikes. He retaliates with all his might. Punch after punch, hit out the aggrievedness of these decades, hit out the anger of these decades, the crowd roars with all their might. The battle on stage is awe-inspiring. Zeus throws a punch, but Charlie dodges and counters with a flying fist. Kenton has had him on him again! Landing punch after punch! Time for Shido and his super bot head all comes down to this, folks! Ends out of left arm, but Kenton is on- Such a father is Max's hero. He never gives up. Dares to fight against fate. Dares to protect his loved ones with his fists. Zeus is defenseless against the onslaught. On the verge of falling, the sound of the bell rings, and the match ends. Everyone erupts in cheers, celebrating Charlie's punches and Adam's resilience. Charlie finally earns Max's recognition, 